But I do think that there is one company that has successfully made a camera for everyone. So, I have to leave, go to the airport. Everything is so far away in LA. I'm so not used to it. Getting ready, I'm eating, because I know it might take a long time for us to go and check in. We're probably gonna eat again in the airport. We'll try to go to a lounge. Our best friend in this scenario will be the Insta360 Go. I'm just gonna rush here. Ugh! <laughs> it's time to pack. Uh huh. <laughs> These are some of the things. These are some of the things that I'm bringing. Hi. Hi. It's my apple. Oh my god. Hi, apple. Speaking of food, takis. Yeah. It's expensive in the uh, Philippines. Hi, babies. <gasps> Should I put you in the Balik Bayan box? Yeah. Ah. Oh, 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 my cutie. You think so? Boom, but like buying boxes to you. Yeah. <laughs> So first off, the form factor is really good. The fact that you could put it inside of your pocket and also have like an even smaller form factor. The fact that you could take off the pod, off the action pod. Oh yeah, so like the flip out screen is probably one of my most favorite, especially being a solo creator. Make sure I look okay that I'm in frame. I mean, granted, this is an ultra wide, so I'm pretty sure like everything is going to be in focus, and uh, there's really little to no mistake when it comes to framing the shot. But it's still nice to know what it actually looks like, and also that magnets. I could stick this anywhere I want it to be, especially if there's like some metal surfaces. But yeah such a neat feature that I really, really love. I like the fact you could actually turn off the tally lights and the sound makes it really less intrusive. I feel like that kind of transitions into the mental load of using this camera is so good. Like honestly, I'm holding my Fuji film right now, which I'm probably not framing too well. <laughs> but if I point this at myself, or at someone, on this, you're gonna bring a lot of attention, unlike this little tiny thing. I mean, the only thing that you're gonna be sacrificing with this camera is the quality of it, the image quality, but I honestly am not too bothered by it. Honestly, if it takes video, if it does it well, I'm gonna like it. I can really make creative shots for it. And the third one is going to be the attachments. I really like the attachments that they had for Insta360 GO 3. The one that I have right now is the one that usually attaches to the car mount, but I took that out and put it on the tripod instead. This is also Insta360. It's the cap clip. So that's the one that you usually put on the baseball cap. I don't like putting it on caps unless I put it on backwards and if it's like a baseball cap because it's too heavy in the front. But my favorite thing to clip it onto is actually backpacks, like the straps of my sling bag right here. I love putting it. This is the Bell Roy pouch. I forgot exactly what it was called, but I'll make sure to make a video about it soon. The Insta360 Go app, the AI features, not only in body, but also in the app are pretty darn good, especially when you are coming from the X3. And the flow, it's just, it's so good. Because it does have an AI tracking feature. And I still have to play around the Insta360 app for the Go 3. I usually use it as a monitor, but the fact that this screen flips up, I use it less. But again, it's still very, very good. The quarter inch thread, I feel like should have been put in body instead of it being an attachment. The Go 2 had that thread in. Again, it's like a, a quick release plate. It should have just been already on the camera. I feel like it's like an added expense that you shouldn't be having or I wish it was included. Oh, my second one is that the memory is not expandable. Yeah, it's not like in the X3 where you can insert a uh, memory card or micro SD card in and out. Um, especially if you are going to be using this a lot, 
and you don't have time to transfer, you, you can't just swap out the memory cards. But a lot of the pros outweigh the cons. voice is gonna sound like shit and you're gonna hear a lot of stuff happening right now I just woke up the best camera is the one that you bring everywhere with you and it's so easy to set up I just this makes my life so much easier as a content creator filmmaker it's something that everyone should have if I wasn't even a filmmaker or a content creator I would still want it to document my life hopefully this works Oh yeah, back to my sheet. Thank you for flying Philippine Airlines, the heart of the Filipino. Mabuhay at maraming salamat po. Well, it feels great to be back home again. Having the Insta360 go for a few months now, one thing that I definitely realized was this is one of the best in its class as an action camera. I believe that it's more than an action camera just because like what I mentioned, this is actually for everyone. Even with the success of the different It's the 360 products, for some reason the Go 3 just feels so different and I truly believe that this is the magnum opus of Insta360. I love how it just focuses on the most important part of having a camera, just documenting life. And the Insta360 Go just makes it just so easy. <sighs> Ang init sa Pilipinas ka, eh. Ayoko na dito. Pero wala eh, mahal ko eh. <laughs>